So the undead. Good day. A small misshapen man bounce bounce up to you from the cavern's gloom, nearly bowling you over in his excitement. Welcome, welcome to Dreering's Deep. Where did you escape from? Did anyone follow you? Come in, come in. Dreering's Deep welcomes you. Dreering's Deep. Yes, Dreering's Deep, the village of the free, or almost free at least. And uh, no longer enslaved, the not yet fully emancipated Dreering's Deep. Welcome, welcome. What do you mean, almost free? Not yet fully emancipated, I said, but you'd better not ask me about that. I may lead the fine citizens of Dreary's Deep, but I dare not speak for them. You should ask them why they're not quite free. Why are you so concerned that I might have been followed? That's what happens when people escape, you know. You get followed. You may not think you'll get followed, but then a slave tracker shows up on the village door and there you have it, followed. Who are you anyway? Me? I'm Cordigan. I'm the leader of the village. Yes, the elected representative. Secret ballot. It was secret ballot. This is yes. But not much power though. Not much power at all here in Rarings. Why don't you have much power? It's a complicated state of affairs, yes. A complicated state of affairs. There are elected officials, you see, and there are those who don't elect yet have power anyway, yes. Who are the unelected officials? Oh, I dare not say, I dare not say. I represent the villagers, but I do not speak for them. As them who holds true power here. Ask them, you'll see. Yeah, I think I'll be going. So them are in control here. You know that because he's so afraid to criticize them or even talk about them, so they are in control. Might we speak? What would you like? This village. These are all surface folk. Why would they be here? Underdark races use surfacers as slaves or food or both. Nothing more. Do you think it's some kind of a trap? Perhaps. There seems to be little danger from the surfacers themselves. They are captives, if not slaves. Who their masters might be might be is the real question. I'll we'll have to investigate to find out. You are right, of course. There is some mystery here, however. I suggest caution. Mm. Oh, probably should rest. They say that a last born in Sigil will place her heart in a box. The key, don't you see? It comes with a fee. Does it? Actual house. Yeah, nothing special here. I'd like to meet someone. It's a gong. There are bats. Well, that's it. The gong, okay. There's definitely something there. Could we get some kind of information about this, maybe? No? Yet? Anyone? Anyone? Who would with our merch? I once faced off against a small army of fiends with only a scant few demons at my back. I was the only one to walk away from the battlefield that day. Well, hello! A squat Dwergar with a uh, bulbous nose and a bad leg sizes you up. Brick a brack. Rick-a-brack, she parks. Things we scrounge, things we sold, things we cobbled together from the rest. Good prices for better customers. 
This town has some odd folk, doesn't it? Let me see, there's me, you, the priests, and a pile of former slaves scared out of their wits and not quite sure what to do with themselves. So yes, odd folk don't even have start to describe it. Who are you? Me? I'm a rack picker, garbage seller, haggle tooth, you name it. Not from here, not from anywhere really. You're not getting my real name though. Name giving scares the locals. Price of business. The people are scared of names. Superstitious lot then. It's just a name, I figure, but it's just a coin too. You get my meaning. Anyhow. anyhow. They just uh, call me Rack Picker, and you might as well do the same. What can you tell me about the priests? Somber Punch, they are. A lot of pur purple robes, bones, skulls, you know the type. Been building their flock by helping slaves break free, or more often just paying off the masters. Seems they have the money for it. Who are they? No, oh, fuck. Do they have any enemies, friends? Depends on the slaves, really. Steal slaves from the drow and you made them your enemy. Pay the drow handsomely for their slaves and you made them your friend. Seems to come and go, but right now it seems to be the illithids sending war parties and the drow sending diplomats. Read into that what you will. Is there anyone else around here? Well, the occasional slave master wanders in, demanding the return of his property. I saw a party of drow leading away a chain of bone creatures the other day. Oh, and there's Vix Vixthra too, I suppose. What kind of bone creatures did the drow have? What kind of bone creatures do the drow ever have? I don't know big, made of bones. Maybe they came with the drow in the first place. Maybe they didn't. Who's to say? None of my business. So they're getting bone golems out of this place. Vixtra? That's one of the priests were one the priests worship. Never seen him. Not sure if there's anything to be seen, but you can be sure feel a presence about this place. A constriction of the throat. Locals say that's Vixthra. Show me your store. Is there a restoration potions? I seen, haven't seen those. Yeah, don't care if it's favorable or not. I'll buy it. No, no, no. Uh, they're fairly cheap, and I, I don't know when I'm going to get more, so I'm buying out quite a few. We have other ways to deal with this, but at the same time, uh, the potions are quite convenient way. Yeah, trash, mostly that's exactly what she has. Do we want to sell anything away? As well, she has 10,000 gold to pay for us. Yeah. Cannot sell this item. Maybe she doesn't. Ah, uh, no, uh, I'm, a, I'm a drow. That's why she can't I am not well, hello. a pack mule. Baby lift poison worth 66 gold. Yeah, let's go away.
Pearl of Bashi. Small pearl has some mysterious symbols engraved in its surface. I, I have an idea where where that would go to. Jesus Christ, even twelve of these is worth ten thousand. Seriously? Fine. Sell them in the stacks of ten. It's closer to hundred thousand worth of crap. A few bolts of uh no 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 no. Made a mistake. You know I want to sell them, not split them again. Uh, four hundred thousand. I have a nasty feeling we have a chance to pay up to a million easily on some things. So, four hundred thousand is a lot, certainly, but there are a lot of expensive things in this game. Clean up, and that's it. But the gym of bashing—that's another matter entirely. What's the structure in the middle? Yeah, it's clear that we have to go and deal with the uh, priest. But I have a feeling about the gem of bashing. The bridge here... I'm not sure if I can interact with it anymore, but it had a... sort of a little bit of an opening for something and we never had anything. I'm wondering could the gem be that... Yep, insert the pearl of bashing. Root at fairin.prime.com and games at Neverwinter Nights. You stare blankly at the panel. You have no idea how anyone could understand what this means. You pop the pearl back out in frustration. I don't know if that's still something that's a thing. Probably some kind of a mention of what it is, even if the page itself no longer exists. Or address, rather. But no, don't care, this isn't important. Okay. Probably should rest up. We're about to embark on a seri serious adventure here. Where start with all our spells intact? Dig it? Buff us the hell up.
I somehow doubt they'll try to work with us, so... Slave Cold Knights. Yeah, this looks evil as shit. Well met. The priest's features are pale and gaunt with the shadows of the purpose cowl. Big straw protect you. I wish to enter the temple. I apologize, but the temple is holy to us. Only members of the priesthood or those who have important business with the order may enter. I wish to be speak to your leader. High priest Sodalis is a very busy man, and he grows busier by the day. I'm afraid he is only available for important ceremonial events. Do you offer any services? What services we offer you may have through me. There's no need for you to pass through these doors. You in the door, why not? I mean, you in the fucking store, and it for nothing of value. I guess the car gong is our way to go forward then. Do you know about the gong? Well met. Strange symbols decorate the gong. Symbols seem to be derived from Old Draconic, a language once popular among Faring's more powerful dark wizards. The symbols refer to some form of ritual human sacrifice. Sounded. A ceremony has been called for. Vixla turns his ancient gaze upon us. Mighty is the will of Vixla, and great is his hunger. Vixla, sage protector, our safeguard against all peril. To thee we offer one of our own. Are there any ill who wish to serve the will of Vixla? I will. Big slab proves of his servant. Priests! Cult temple. Slip this one and bring it to my chambers. Big slab grows impatient with us. We must sacrifice a victim to the pit with no delay. Yes, master. Where's my buddies? Get him! Kick some ass! I'm Let's go, dudes. Stairs down, stairs up. Yes, Deacon. Deacon got a bad feeling about this place. No shit, Deacon. Why, what's wrong? What's wrong? Look around, boss. We is going inside the evil fortress of doom. That is never good. Might be. 
Doom Knight. Yeah, glorious death. Cold Knight helmet. Offers no protection, but it's uh, stylish. Uh, yeah, they've been sacrificing people here. But it, it can't be that simple. Skeletal devourers. Holy shit. That's like a second and two hits. Each one did 109 points of damage to it. So, critical immunity or get, get the fuck out. That's, that seems to be the name of the game here. I, I don't even mind getting into these high levels, but if you would tone, don't tone down a lot the, the, the items, to, you tone down the magic levels on those items quite a bit, it would be, I, I think, in overall quite a bit more enjoyable, because tough opponents would properly be tough. You have to struggle to overcome them instead of uh, do this. These aren't exactly top opponents, so yeah. I got this. So this is the clean up to before we can find out what the hell is actually going on here. Maybe hit some proper tougher enemies. Ooh, dragons. Think you Shadow can take teams. Me? Think again. Your eye is drawn to a curious engraving on the altar. A hooded figure places a black gemstone upon the altar before him and his weapon held in the air triumphantly. I think you can uh, give a uh, vampiric regeneration ability to a weapon with this. Basically it draws life from your target, but I don't think I'll want to do that. Vixthrite Tome. Bestow Curse. A single use. The priesthood of Bixra shall make its home above, both in the world and of the world, that it might lure more believers to the divine light. But below shall dwell the elders, those who serve Bixra for all eternity, neither in the world nor of it, for they shall be undying. To them shall sacrifice be made in blood, to Bixra shall it be made in bone. Definitely undead creatures. More of a question is what type. You can get the vampires very well, but what? Why? Well, well, what do you sacrifice bones to? It's another 10,000 for us, thank you. I'm not a huge fan of the massive prices of the equipment either. It makes m finding money sort of pointless because, you know, uh, I didn't get my 10 to 15,000. I got uh, a couple of thousand cash. Plus 4 weaponry again. So, game making sure you have plus 4 weaponry of some kind. <sighs> Ready to be beaten by a ah! Ah! A lot of skeletal devourers. Ah! 
He's afraid. Oh, that sucks. Doesn't make a difference here, though. lost a lot of your attributes maybe a little bit of strength I guess uh, we're very likely going to get a level up from this too called Knight Elite and Avalon is out of fight shit can I do a knockdown on you? Yes. Into the More importantly, lead. critical hit, so 116 points of damage. Gauntlets of discipline. Great sword of somethingness. Carry weight, 1,773 uh, Strength, 32 Bones everywhere Bones for Vixtra, Blood for the Elders. So Elders are vampires for life. What the fuck is Vixtra? Time stop. Elementals. Incendiary Cloud. Clenched Fist. And running away like a bitch! Ugh. That's slow. Nice tactic though. At least the bastard tried something. Follow my lead. Very well. Follow my lead. Oh, there's time stop. Yeah. <sighs> Wondering. Very Follow well. my lead. Death. 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 Fucking AI isn't coming here, not because it can't, but because there's area of effects, effects here. So the beacon is there alone against an impossible mage because it's too dangerous to walk through poison gas for a second. Uh, we're gonna lose him if we just don't go. Already lost half health. And he has... Kill it, kill it, kill it. Godless critical hits. The cloak of protection. Reflexes. Armor. Fire protection maybe. Yeah, major fire resistance. I'm of power and staff of sodalis energy drain negative energy burst negative energy ray 
enchantment bones plus five. Not that good, but whatever. Yeah, mystery statue of some kind, I'm not leaving it there. This looks bad. This is bad. Very, very bad. It's done. Ready to be beaten. Yeah, someone's giving me a hand job. Never noticed that before. But it sort of looks like it, doesn't it? I guess it's supposed to be someone hitting me with a fist, but there it, it works the wrong way. It, it looks like someone's stroking up instead of someone smashing down. Uh, Ready to be beaten by a girl. Ah! I'm sure we are safe ah! now, but no point taking risks. Yeah, Deacon doesn't really have any spells. Cloak of the Bats. Will it will heal bring us. Rod of Thunder and Light. Chain Lightning, one use per day. Sound Burst, unlimited use per day. Oh my god. Taking you might have an equipment piece right then and here that you can use. Sorcerer or Wizard, so you can't use it. What I don't get is why Deacon doesn't have used magical items. I mean. That's one of the few things a bard really really should have. He's going to get it because he doesn't really have anything else. But he only has 8 points in it and it's one of the best things you could ever have. Ah, whatever. I, I really want him to take a weapon proficiency or uh, just put something the use magical items. Pretty sure we came here for just a key so we can at least enter the lower sections. Uh, I don't want to rest. Uh, I don't want to rest. And I'm resting immediately. Uh, accidental bottom bush. Simply because Deacon was the only reason. Have a reason to rest. Yes, it doesn't matter uh, now. I am not a pack mule. I am yours to command. Um. After we've done this, I think I want to talk to our companions for maybe a little bit, ask them about things. Dig it.
Uh, I think it makes a difference. I'm pretty sure if you totally ignore everything, it's sort of a. Uh, it might be persuasion or chance based whether everyone sticks with you through the, the to the very final end. Deacon might be the exception, so no matter what, Deacon's always there for you. But I, I think with the rest, it's determined at least to some extent what you choose to, to, to when you talk with them, or if you're going to choose to talk with them. So ignoring that was very dangerous, especially with Vale and Nami, because he's. If he turns against us for any reason, or just abandons us, that's a big problem. Uh, I, I, I just don't... I am not don't dare to take that risk. Massive amount of boost. Get him! Kick some ass! Exactly. Uh, I don't care what they have, they won't be able to stand against us. At least for a while, as long as our buffs last. Cult Temple. Crypts. Doesn't look like a large area. Well, that's good. And the pit. Of course, there's the pit. Ooh. A bone golem shouldn't be too dangerous. Roll. Think you can take me? Think again! Yeah. Ah! Not too dangerous. You cannot win this fight! Oh, let's go. Fasten the rope and use it to climb down the inner sanct. Hold monk. The priest before you is tall and pale. The lot trickles from the corners of his mouth. Welcome, child. He rasps. You have been chosen to serve the will of Vixtra, yes. I serve no will but my own. Do you really believe that? Have you never been manipulated? Have you never pursued a lie? Have you never sold your soul, your flesh, your blood? Yet the blessed Vixtra desires none of these. What does Vixtra desire? Things of the flesh are not his domain, no. What he covets above all are things of bone. It is your femur he wants, your spine your jaw, the hundred bones within your hands. Why is he so interested in bones? The priest smiles, a fresh trail of blood trickling from between his tight pressed lips. Let us just say he feels a certain kingship. He is a crafter, you see. He likes to fashion things from them. Sorry, I don't intend to part with them. Good thinking, boss. You need your bones. You see, that is where we run into a little... complication. Within the priesthood, we elders have had to take certain measures that we might serve Bixra's thought throughout the ages. Long ago, a pact was made. A decision. 
Wickstra claims the bones, but the blood is ours. The priest opens his mouth to reveal two sharp fangs. He lunges for your throat. Your blood will be mine. Yeah, I, I, I'm an undead monstrosity. I have only bone. <laughs> Energy orb. The orb hisses and sparks. Its energy is fully charged. Okay. Sarcophagus. A pale skinned corpse lies within the coffin, lacerated with bloodless wounds. As you watch, you are horrified to see the wounds quickly closing themselves, leaving not even a scar behind. Uh, can I attack? You manage to cause some damage to the corpse, but the wounds continue to close quickly. You will have to find another way to destroy the creature inside. I have some experience with vampires. The only way to permanently kill them is to drive a wooden stake through their heart. Um, can I get pieces of stake this way, or do I have to get stake stakes? Okay, I can do it this way. Might as well pick all of them up. It's not gonna be the only vampire here. Drive the piece of wood through the creature's heart. You find a rusty key beneath the body. The monk's key. Splintered wood, yeah, better take it. We have about five pieces of it. My deacon always falls behind. How come deacon not get to lead for a while? Uh. Ah, I see, I see. Um, it's going to have three. Yep, so. We, there's one pedestal here, two here, three here, so we need more of these energy orbs to do something to probably gain access. Yep. Monks. Lots and lots of monks. <laughs> I have a stake for each one of you. Yeah, a lot of dragons shit here. So, a bone dragon? You keep moving. Okay. So the crates are to getting wooden stakes. Only dust. Only dust. Just one thousand experience on five hundred. We have more splintered wood. Think you can take me? 
Take more of it. Bring it on. Ah! I wouldn't want to do this if there's a serious one there. Uh, they actually do get back and join the fight, so it's not just that you have to defeat them and have infinite amount of time to kill them, but no, there's a limited time period before they're fully regenerated and come back to fight you. So these kind of enemies, not too big of a problem, but not all of them are going to be this easy. Probably the elders are going to be potentially at least dangerous. Again, because Valen is in the group, hard to say how dangerous they end up being. Cult Elder Mark, very difficult. And... yep. Cannot win this fight! The trap keeps triggering when... Wood. I think this is a nice compromise. I mean, you don't have to make huge preparations beforehand uh, to be able to handle this. At the same time, the vampires aren't holding uh, a collection Very of well. holy, holy stakes here in their home. I'm not sure if just splintered would be would would be enough. Usually they have to be less. But whatever. That would certainly be a problem. Uh, what's on the other side? We got what we came here for, I'm sure of that. Library could be very useful. Tome of Vic's Right Elders. On the eve of Dark and Tide, 1034, uh, did Vixra at last attain his true form? Shadow are his wings no more, but fearsome bone, his power made greater by our faith and labors. We created our god and made him eternal by our faith. We sh he shall be undying as we are, now and forever shall we serve his power. Nerdy trains will use. Out of room in our inventory because we have all this crap. Ah, yeah, we're single items. There's not not a room for a single item in the first four pages. So yeah, we we'll probably need to shove some in our bags pretty soon. Doesn't matter. We have the second energy bowl. We can enter the other side. And. Yeah, we need the third one to get the hell out of here permanently.
torture device. And a lot of Bring it on. Let's do something. What the hell is shooting? Shadow Master, very difficult. And. Lavoera. This astral diva has the form of a light and beautiful female with the noticeable addition of feathered wings. She also appears to be quite young for a celestial being. Another one who's running away. I cut you off. Oh shit, forgot about this. Where is she go where is she going? Yeah yeah yeah, move 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 move. Where's your tomb? Here we go. Mission belt of priestly might and warding. Only usable by good. Laboera's wrath. Simple weapon. Armor bo bonus versus undead. 10. Enchantment bonus versus undead. Plus 6. Slay racial group undead. Only usable by good and outsider, so uh Valen we could use it. Nullified rod. It's difficult to determine the purpose of this rod, though one end of it is flattened, exposing various copper no nodes. It's probably meant to be inserted into some larger structure. Not the room anymore. So up with this crap. Okay. Warlord's breastplate plus six. Charisma plus six. This could be good for Deacon. Uh, I'm more the arcane spell failure chance a bit bit more of a problem. He might be able to cast spells to ignore that that are or still stilled basically. You even have steel spell. Of course you don't. So Deacon, I think, is more suffering from a bad selection of feet than any feet than anything else. Wheelbarrow and bones. Now we're gonna also always summon the genie. Dump some of the extra crap on it. Especially if it's low value, it doesn't particularly matter. Golems. 
Yeah, I don't see the bone golems being too much of a problem, even if they took part in fighting uh, for the defense of the city. At least it's, I guess, would have been their biggest problem, and they're going to be. We didn't manage to prevent them from support supporting Valshares. Crow. Okay. Think you can take me? Think again. Well, I think I can. Take you. Yes. Critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. Let's bring it on. This is not the You cannot end. win this fight. I'm pretty sure I can. Ooh, I made it. This is not the I guess they have their emissary here too. Word of faith. Divine power. Flail of Destruction, Fire Damage, now this would be fairly basic play. And Acid Resistance. As wise and powerful as you are, big struggle, blah, blah, blah. your lack of progress on the measures we have agreed to angers me. You promised me an army of undead, to the order of 200 a day. What I have seen from you thus far has been half that. The foolish elders sing the praises of their exceptional craftsmanship and might. While this is true, it does not forgive the short call. I'm sending some of my own slaves with this letter to oversee the process. Satisfy me, and your elders may have their blood and you their bones. Exceed my expectations, and I will give you their weight in gold as well. Disappoint me, however, and I will destroy even the memory of your pathetic little cult. The choice is yours. So, similar threats all around, I guess. Ah, crap, we don't have room for this. Actually, we do. Isn't that nice? <sighs> well, I'm not too concerned about our cash situation. Very well. It's done. Five thousand and ten topazes. Good work. Uh, unidentified cookeries, unidentified bolts, bolt of negative energy, little kind, and we have no inventory. Yeah, uh, you have a lot of carry weight, so you can you can take this crap. White crossbow will probably be better for beacon though. Crossbow of mad. I, I don't want him using a bow though. There's a rat there. Very well. I talk to it. The rats cluster around you excitedly, 
trying to tell you about some coffins they found nearby. Golden parts. A pile of oversized bones lurk in the shadowed gloom. Pale and white, it seems that whatever meat once clung to them has long since been The woman before you is strikingly beautiful despite countless scars. Tattered wings blackened with mold and dirt sag from her shoulders. Tubes run from the crooks of her elbow to the nearby machine. Free me! Yeah. She commands, her voice strong and fierce throughout her apparent pain. Her green eyes, bright as emeralds, pierce you with their gaze. Who are you? I am... I was called Lavoera, a hospitaller from the Outer Plains. Now I languish here, forgotten, abandoned and left for dead. What binds you here? When they captured me, they sealed me in, within... Uh, with fell magic somehow. They had a rod that they inserted into the machine, and now I can't do anything. Not even cast a little fire spell to keep me warm. What have the elders done to you? The vampires? They're creating these horrible bone golems. They've found a way to animate them using my blood. That would explain the reports of an undead host gathering with the army of the Valshares. We have to find a way to stop this. It has... it all has to do with the machine. Straining my blood vile... What? Vile by vile. I'm so tired, so cold. Okay, we can ask questions later. I'll be back. Don't forget me. Please don't forget me. Yeah, place the nullifier rod inside. The woman's rigid posture softens, and a faint red glow you hadn't noticed before seems to drain out of uh, the air. Wind stirs her ragged feathers. Thank you. I know I've made a mess of the whole thing, but at least I'm not being held captive anymore. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my superiors. Come now, it's not so bad. No, it's pretty bad. I'm still here, right? I'm still on the material plane. My superiors didn't say my mission had to be done right away. There's still time, isn't there? How are you feeling? Me? Well, a little woozy there. I don't think I'll be flying anytime soon. But it's, well, it's better than it was, don't you think? I could use your help. Really? I, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, this person I was supposed to meet, they could be anywhere, right? After all, I have to start somewhere and it might as well be by returning you a favor. Uh, what do you need? There's a rebellion against the drow and the rebel camp needs your protection. The drow? Vampires were using the blood to fashion golems for the Drow army. Would they be surprised to meet me on the field of battle? Rebels, rebels, rebels. Got it. Okay, on my way. The Seer's army of Ragtag, a mix of outcasts and misfits. I think that Diva will fit in quite well. Crystal of Undead. Physical attributes minus 4, damage resistance against negative energy 20. Control undead, create undead, create crater undead. Energy drain, negative energy burst, negative energy ray, shadow shield. Uses per day, so you, this is a powerful, powerful amulet. 
but negative, negative effects on your physical attributes. Except that you might be able to protect yourself against the effects. Anyway. Good to get allies. And final I don't think we need these orbs anymore, so this extra inventory space. Our mage here. Oops. Yeah. Can I knock him down? Think you can take me? Think again. <laughs> no. Not be knocked down. Okay, let's see this big straw while we're at it. Yeah, bone dragon some sort. Oh, multiple bone dragons. Are they dead or alive? Okay, how does this work? Let me think about this. Drago Leech are undead dragons that have taken the path of immortality, gaining tremendous powers and abilities in the process. Yeah, it's impossible and it's immune to every stinking thing on the planet. Excellent. But what are these? They're multiple death fixtras. I'm getting the sense that we don't want to fight him. He's not yet. Because uh, I, I get the feeling we're gonna have to kill him multiple times in that case. So. No, don't attack me. Yeah, that's his treasure. Phylactery. Ah, so... Is he gonna die if we get the phylactery, or is he going to be unable to be reborn? Wait. What's this? Okay, if he dies from this, that will make things easy. Ah! Yeah, he did not die, which means... We'll need to kill the bastard. Ooh, a secret door. Let's see, let's see. Get him! Kick some ass! Ah! So now it should be a straight up fight, I think. Ah! I know you're not a pack mule, but I need to do something about him. Do I have protection from... Get him! Kick some ass! Yeah, that doesn't remove... T 
you will besiege. Thank you. What? Not use that item. And it has a fire shield. Well, that's not good. Wonder if I could go use the men. No, I need an undead shape right right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get a lot of shit on me. I want to attack him because he has the fire shield. Bring it on. At the same time, I sort of have to, I guess. Yeah, the king. 102 points of negative energy out of him. Ah! Run away. Get him. Attack it. Kick some ass. Yeah, that's better. Ah! Now we're doing some proper damage. It's going down. Warrior at least hits. We are not really hitting. The warrior is hitting constantly. Yeah, and that will make the difference. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! <sighs> it's just another body among the others. I think it's either destroy the phylactery, then kill it, or kill it like three to four times. Either way, we're done. All the slaves is looting and preparing for the battle within the city. I think I do want to prepare by just slaying some of our crap away. We probably are not going to need the splintered wood anymore. That should give us a little bit of extra room. I don't expect to loot anything during the fight, but at the same time, you never know. I could uh, just sell the spell scrolls away, that would be enough. Gives a lot of room for little things. <sighs> ah, I am not a pack mule. Hmm, how do you loot this? Oops. It's it's done. Each treasure pile is not worth all that much. A few hundred coins at best. It's done. I'm destroying these because it's actually hard to pick things that are very close to a chest because the chest is so overwhelmingly large that it blocks your access, to, access to the smaller targets. I do like this, it's, it's a way to at least attempt to do a, oh shit, a proper dragon horde and red dragon armor. Um, we certainly have the room, it's some more of a matter of how we package these things. Great Worm Gauntlets. Only usable by Red Dragon Disciple. Fire bonus, attack bonus, dexterity negative. Yeah, we really, really, really don't have the space. Uh, letters from Valsharets, Lexicon Arcana. Go away. Let's 
sure how is this really worth it? Free money, so naturally we're gonna take all the treasure. But it's it's still a fairly inconvenient way to pick these up. At the same time, a dragon treasure should be but it should have more wealth and it should be a serious problem. How are you gonna move this many coins? It's it's really often overlooked in these games. In, in general, how much money? It, it doesn't have to be a weight issue. How much money weighs? But do you have? Do you even have the space to lock all this cash around? So I uh, I do think if you don't have a good way to handle it. An interesting way that contributes to a lot of fun or questing or something like that. It's, it is better to just ignore it. It's no, it, there's no need to introduce pointless BC work just because of real, realism. It has to support the gameplay, otherwise, it's just a burden. I've seen, at least I remember, Neverwinter Nights has a way to at least... to. I don't think it's a quest per se, how do you handle it, but it's more of a... You find a dragon's horde and after defeating a dragon, and you just can't... You can pick something up there, but you have to basically decide what you, how you're going to handle the last amount of gold. You're going to have to get an escort and basically choose how you're going to try to get the horde to where it can be of use to you. And depending on what you choose, there are some consequences. But it's um, there could be an entire basically a game built around the fact that you you have to escort. Uh, a dragon's fort worth of gold for, from uh, some kind of remote location to where you, it can actually be used. We're out of fire. A lot of good stuff, but we, we really don't have the room for this. Um, I'd rather not give things to Deacon. Deacon has the ability to actually use a lot of this stuff. And I, I actually feel safer if you can. So, Balin, you're going to be my new. After we've moved the items to Balin's inventory, we'll summon the Jin. No, yeah, we'll dump a lot of this there. I'll just take it to my inventory. But, level up first. We should get our attribute points. Wisdom 25. It might be enough for outsiders, I don't know. Can we take this way? I'll take lore. Heal. What can we take? Any ooh, outsiders shapes. Either Azir Chieftain, Rakshasa, or a Death Slot. Yes, please. Hmm. Uh, we aren't using these, so Drider, Basilisks, and well, Manticore should stay. 
uh, we're not really using Medusa or Mind Flayer. I, I, I don't particularly care for them. Uh, at the current shapes, there's not much point. Azur Chieftain is a combat shape, and I think it's a humanoid with a weapon, so it would be very useful. Rakshasa is almost immune to all magic, and it has in infinite mode magic on its own, so it could be very useful in certain situations. This slot board, uh, I, I've got nothing. I have no idea if it is it any good. I'm sure it's not terrible, but is it really something we want to use? Okay. Once again, you have summoned me, mortal. Of course. Sequencer robes, two hundred thousand. Yeah, plus seven armor class. Clear sequencer. Sequencers. So you can put three spells into storage and then just fire them. Very powerful item. Lathar's last belt. You spell immunity, power word kill, and finger of death. I didn't exactly come here to stare at this. Ooh, 200,000. Last word. Plus 5. Clothing, no armor. Dancer silhouette, 250,000. Shadow dancer armor. Gilded defender. Plus 8 armor class modifier for the dwarf. Lesser golem armor. Meaning there's an actual golem or even greater golem, golem armor. Immunity to level ability plan. Yep, uh, didn't want to spit. Uh, look at those. Just need to get rid of some scrap. Pearl bashing. Yeah, just go away. Keep the black pearls for now. Yeah, we're getting terrible prices out of these, so this is definitely just to create uh, inventory room. Some things are still worthwhile. And still something we want to get rid of. I just don't want to sell all the things here because these prices are terrible. And I'd really like to get the most out of some of them. But if we're just gonna get 10,000, I might as well sell. Product leather armor plus 6. Should be good for Deacon. Ah, uh, still either way. Hatred. Plus four keen poison damage. Morning Star is a simple weapon, yeah. But it's the exact same weapon more or less what Titan has already. We might be able to use this. Uh, no, I don't see it. Uh, we already have one red dragon armor, and it's being used. We don't have another. Draw full plate. Toshino. Ah, yeah. Let's try. Plus four keen doom and Mistrum Belt Priestess might good. Strength plus four, armor plus two. Let's go away. Okay. We have six hundred thousand. Our situation is more or less okay, I guess.
Blade of Shadows. Ability Drain Strength. Not bad. And yeah, shit, we had an entire empty container there. Okay. Yeah, we can. You can go away now. I guess we will be more more or less ready now. Ah, uh, I am not a pack mule. Yeah, this helps help out quite. And we still have this. It, the weight is not the problem, it's definitely the space. So it doesn't matter what we really stick in here, as long as it takes a lot of space. One book is. Deacon's book. Yeah, we'll keep that. Merchant's compass, I don't think that's useful, but I'm holding on to it. Yep, good enough. Good enough. Uh, let's go record our success to this people in the village. They should be happy. Uh, I don't know if it's totally a good thing though. The cold must have provided them a lot of protection. Probably the reason why they haven't been just Gobbled up by Valshares' forces, for example. Still, we're about as ready as we're gonna get. I do want to try one of the few things. We're gonna have to rest anyway, so I might as well try what the outsider shapes do. Death's Lord Lord. Very high armor class, a lot of hits, mm, damage is okay, attack bonus is terrible. What else can you do? Chaos Beetle, I have no idea. Do Chaos Beetle, a thing of somethingness. Touched attack. Yeah, this could be useful. Okay. Sure. Uh, I am Depends on what Chaos Beetle is and what how many times we can use it. Rakshasa is definitely useful. High armor class. Uh, uses a uh, weapon. Excellent. Khajiit, basically. Except vast uh, immunity to magic. Have, uh, and tr probably true seeing too. When, uh, what's your special ability? Mistil's Acid Breath, Ice Storm, and Dispel Magic. Infinite uses on three spells. Ice Storm. I don't think there's a saving throw against Ice Storm, so it'll always do damage. Dispel Magic in infinite amounts is also naturally very useful. So. Anti-mage form with a good armor class. Not effective fighter, no. Not terrible either. I'd rather use this than a drow at this point. Uh, I am not a pack mule. Azir chieftain. Weakest armor class. Again, full form. We get the benefit from everything. I don't have a bro anymore. That's the lowing cloth. The strongest attack bonus. Good fire damage extra. Azure Flaming War Axe plus 5. Good physical attributes too. A lot of hit points. What do you do? Probably fire immunity or something like that. Cold to decrease resistance. Immunity to a lot of things. Seems like a fairly basic warrior. I guess the benefit would be in general that you have a higher class magical weapon. Uh, I am not a pack mule. 
Okay. Trap the sub. Report to success and blend pretty much there. Uh, once we return to the city, it's instant combat. How I'm going to do it is basically use the Reaper device to teleport into the temple, report as much as we can, and that will begin the fight. Cordigan. A great frill figure hunts us before you on the temple steps. His knobbly hands gla glass fervently before him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Many thanks, yes. We are truly freed now, both from our prior slavery and from the terrible tyranny of the Big Star. You're welcome. I'm grateful for the chance to help. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Deering Steep anytime. We're free now, truly, entirely free, thanks to you. What are you going to do now? Why lead the village? Free more slaves? Build defenses now that Vixra's gone? Protect against the slave trackers? It's time to build a better life, it is. A better life right here in Deering's Keep. Hear that, boss? Maybe if we come back, they're going to throw us a party. Maybe they even have cake. Deacon likes cake. Freedom is worth fighting for, even worth dying for. Remember this, or you may find yourselves slaves once more. Thank you, Nalia. In one fell swoop, you've given us what we've dreamed of and uh, been so scared to have for all these years. Thank you. Thank you. A thousand times thank you. I think he might be grateful to us. Um, that's pretty much it. I want to see if the merchant has something to say, probably not. Well, hello! Ah, so, for good or bad, we're done. Ah, I am not a pack mule. Yes, 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 you are. <laughs>